Welcome back to Tale of Two Towns. We're finally in the first winter. Every season is going to be going pretty quickly here. This winter and the one in here of Leaf Valley are both just two parts. Not as much happens in winter as it does in the rest of the seasons. Can you still farm? Because I know in Rune Factory, you can't farm in the winter. You just run around, do errands for townsfolk, and just sleep the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah, you can still farm. Oh, okay. You can't make honey, though. The bees just kind of die in winter. <laughs> so in spring, I would need to put more honeycomb in there. But there are a couple of crops, most of which you don't get until later seasons. But Isn't that a thing with bees, though? Like, they hibernate? They don't actually die? Or am I just misremembering? Uh, they probably hibernate, but these ones die. Oh, or if anything, they just leave the beehive. I've got so many damn chickens. <laughs> if someone were to walk in and see me doing this... <laughs> yeah. Just picking up chickens and throwing them all into the same corner. Yeah, a little girl throwing chickens everywhere. They would suspect some foul play. Just disappointed silence. <laughs> <laughs> For the most part, we're just catching up on all of the animals that I have. I forget their names. Yeah. <laughs> I take it you do too. <laughs> yeah. Amorphous cowboys. They're cute, at least. Yeah, but like, the sheep are blobby in a way that looks sort of like it would work, but cows look like they tip over front-wise, because their head's just so big. I keep brushing the same animals because I forget the ones that I have brushed. <laughs> they all look identical. <laughs> I know a uh, new beginning, and I want to say Story of Seasons, has this pretty cool thing where, depending on the season, when you buy cows, they'll look different. Oh. But no, classic cows for this one. Thanks to increasing the friendship meter with the mayors in the last season, we can dig through the tunnel one more time. We still have one more dig to go before the tunnel is complete, though. There aren't nearly as many things to find while exploring during the winter. Sometimes you'll find snowballs, which when you throw them on the ground will sometimes give you a random item. Other cases they'll just break. Usually you'll get like a rock, a twig, or maybe a flower. Don't expect anything great. Rocks and snowballs. Yeah. Snowball fights are very dangerous here. <laughs> well, if you make your own, but you can't. <laughs> also, you can't hand fish. The ponds where you would hand fish are all frozen over. Same with the ponds where you would rod fish, but those you're actually able to break them open with a hammer. Which I suppose makes sense, but meh probably scare the fish away, but yeah. not here. Winter is just as inconvenient in video games as it is in real life. We've already seen the cutscene for digging through the tunnel. As we dig through it, more miners start showing up. And an angry bat. <laughs> that headbutt me. Zubats in caves. Those bats are the few animals that you can't pick up or befriend. Oh, yeah. Or even feed. They're just there. <laughs> there to be a nuisance. Don't stand over the crack when you open it. <laughs> Maybe not. You're just slowly freezing to death now. Oh, 
Ooh. You get the purple wonderful by fishing during the winter when it's snowing. For most of the wonderfuls, it has to be bad weather in order to get them. Uh, and winter is just all bad weather. Yeah. Who's... I still can't quite wrap my head around the word wonderful as a noun. <laughs> I picked up Ellie leaves. Those aren't used for anything except for requests. In other games, they were an element of a really good healing recipe, but not in this one. For a split second, I thought Eno was Santa Claus. <laughs> From behind. <laughs> Another outfit. This one I want to say is my personal favorite. What do you need to be forgiven for... What did you do? <laughs> I'll never say... The casual outfit. Ooh. Looks pretty cute. It is cute. The bachelors and the bachelorettes all have a favorite outfit that you wear, which when you talk to them will increase their friendship points with you even more. The casual outfit happens to be Cam's favorite outfit, so that works perfectly. Further evidence that you are Cam. Basically. <laughs> Among all the evidence suggesting otherwise. Like the fact that you're real. <laughs> and not a florist. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Musician, florist, what's the difference? <laughs> You're creating art either way, so mer. Now Gombi's selling both wheat and buckwheat. Buckwheat flour is how we make soba noodles. So as it turns out, grains aren't all that versatile. Which is unfortunate, considering how long it takes for them to grow. Ugh. <laughs> Got caught in the slant. God damn it, he'll work with me. More trespassing and just using property that's not yours. <laughs> well, I mean, if they don't care. <laughs> the Konohana farm is basically perfect for planting all of the grains. Since you don't have to water them, you can just plant them and forget about it. Same with the trees. Oh my god. Meet the priest, Nathan. Dedicated follower of the Harvest Goddess. So I never talked to him. <laughs> well, with a face like that, why wouldn't you talk to him? <laughs> you do need to get his friendship up to two flowers in order for another character to move into town. I don't think Nathan is a potential love interest. But I know that the person that comes in after that is. Except it's a girl, so it doesn't matter for us. He took a vow of harvest chastity. Oh, <laughs> just you wait till that other character shows up and I explain to you how you have to woo her. Oh no. Because it's an endeavor and a half. <laughs> so not worth it. No. Is that green flowers? I think he got to green in the last video. But whatever. Green flower. And it's time for another flower event. It's a very dramatic sigh. <laughs> yeah. Pulls down his hat and shows it off. Oh, I thought he was like rubbing his temple just, I got such a headache. <laughs> See, he kind of is me. <laughs> Aww. Not very good with people. You're great with me. You're person, not people. <laughs> Point. <laughs> oh, 
So I'm not very good with people either. What a pair we make. <laughs> well, same with Dio. She straight up doesn't talk. Yeah. <laughs> that was like me in middle school. So this whole game, I'm playing you, and I'm playing you wooing me. <laughs> it's getting better. So, <laughs> so I help him out just by ringing a bell and yelling at people. You know, flowers. Isn't that how I got you to like me? <laughs> I think we remember our relationship very differently. <laughs> so the correct answer here is to actually support him. Say, you can do it. If you say leave it to me, then you're just proving that he's useless. <laughs> when I'm with you... <laughs> He'll just sadly slink off into the background and just, oh, okay. <laughs> Hide behind the giant cart of flowers. Yeah. <laughs> He's become one with the flowers. I've become one with my pointlessness. <laughs> oh, joy. Is he ready to barrel through me? Who wants to wrestle? <laughs> Wrestling Rudker, that'd be interesting. <laughs> He's old, but he's not gray yet. Yeah, but he looks like you could just lift him up and pile drive him over your knee, like Bane. <laughs> or use him as a baseball bat. Yeah, he just, like, snap in half. Cam, what is up with your face? His sprite is missing a pixel right next to his cheek. So you can barely see it there. It looks like he left a bit of shaving cream on in the morning. He forgot to moisturize, it's okay. Now he's missing a complete line of his face. <laughs> his hair is falling out from stress. The sprites get especially bad as the LP goes on. <laughs> a lot of them are missing a ton of pixels, and I'm not sure if it's the ROM or the emulator or if that's in the game itself. Yeah, like the edges of the sprites look pretty rough. Or that might just be my video, but... I think that's like how it is in the main game anyway. Uh... Granted, we are looking at a blown-up video. Usually it's a small screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't care that we're a couple, I guess we are. <laughs> also true in real life. Yeah. <laughs> That was a little different than that. You're like, hey, you're cute, want a date? And I was like, yeah, let's date. <laughs> a bit more emotional turmoil than what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. This is actually closer to our relationship than I guess we're giving it credit for, because it is them just being friends and doing things together. And the whole time you're thinking, just kiss, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and like how every one of our friends saw it coming a mile away and there was like a betting pool or some shit. <laughs> like, you sons of bitches. <laughs> and like, I remember Ez telling Yoshi or something and he's like, okay, who's got my $50? <laughs> we do go to a cafe afterwards, at least. Which is cute. Yeah. Daikons are the only actual crop specific to winter that we can buy right now. Later we can get bok choy, which takes forever to grow. <laughs> At least that's sort of true to real life. Like, I think my dad's talk about, like, having a greenhouse to grow bok choy in the winter, because it's like a winter cold weather vegetable. Mm -hmm. Daikons specifically are a Asian white radish. From what I read about them, seems like they're kind of low in nutrition, but somehow they're a staple. Maybe I just read wrong. Well, I guess when you have, like, no other options in the winter, it sort of becomes a staple. Yes.
since we got tea tree seeds from Hero, we're able to buy them already. So I'm planting plenty of tea. <gasps> My hero. <laughs> The panda loves you! He tolerates me, at least. I like the panda. Like honey, tea leaves change depending on the season, and they don't grow during the winter. Only summer tea leaves are actually used in recipes, otherwise we would need to get a mill that actually converts them into tea cans. Which kind of sucks. But here, this is another type of character cutscene we can have with Cam. He's going to give us a flower horoscope. Because <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, pff, just run with it. It increases our friendship points. <laughs> I think we need to have him at at least four flowers before this happens. And he needs to be working at the time for it to activate. When you were at four flowers with me, I read your palm, so... <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Cam, I walked up to you carrying your gift for the day. Don't get greedy. <clears throat> I think it's more him just saying that you are a very generous person. And that's a thing he likes, wink wink finger gun. <laughs> Give me more tomorrow. <laughs> Something about her just seems off. It's a cute little old lady. Hey, Coco Pack. Guess what? Coco Packs suck. <laughs> you see, she's giving you useless stuff. I think she's senile. <laughs> yeah, what's that, honey? Oh, sorry, I gotta go feed my fish. She sticks a shoe in the tank. <laughs> So Coco Pack is only used for two recipes, hot chocolate and tiramisu. Tiramisu, you need so much other shit. We're not getting that till like the final video of the fucking LP. <laughs> if she gave us chocolate pack, that would be useful. Chocolate pack is used for a ton of recipes. Coco Pack, no. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Leave her alone, she's like 90. <laughs> And that's what you get for some of her most difficult requests. She never gives you chocolate. I think one person gives you chocolate, ever. Otherwise, you have to make it yourself. You can't make chocolate with cocoa? Nope. You can't convert it back. You make cocoa out of chocolate. Oh, okay. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. Okay, I love this. Why are you giving that to a cat? <laughs> cheese and butter. You know, for their arteries. My cat's eaten cheese before. That's not a joke, like, I'll give my cat a piece of cheese and they'll just, like, walk around them. I never seen that Cam likes the casual outfit. Yeah. I want to say that increases the friendship points maybe 10 additional points. Not much, but it adds up. It looked better on my floor, no. <laughs> I'm in need of a rug. <laughs> the stray cat peed on the other one. <laughs> Daikon is used for a few recipes, but not too many. Do these miners actually mine, or do they just stand there? They don't increase the tunnel at all. Eileen does all the work herself, and only when she gets up the energy. Why you fuckers here, then? After we've completed the tunnel, and we do a ton of other things for Eileen, she can't actually dig out a mine for us. So, they're basically just five years early. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready for the mine. As a birthday present, she's really easy to give gifts for. She loves twigs and rocks. Because she's a carpenter. 
She doesn't even care if they're actually converted into lumber or material stone. <laughs> Just a rock. She's perfectly happy. I got some licorice. I got a pack of bubble gum. I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a visit to San Francisco. <laughs> So this is the only use of edamame. We talked previously about edamame and soybeans in the real world, but in this game you have to buy edamame from the store. You don't make it. And when you combine it with soybeans, that's how you make soy milk. I don't think edamame is used for anything else, at least not as a necessary ingredient. Should have fried edamame like we did. I just learned a recipe for cold tofu. Do you guys want to learn how stupid tofu recipes are in this game? <laughs> Guess how I make it. I take tofu, and I leave it there. <laughs> I get cold tofu that way. Guess what you used for? Right, nothing. <laughs> Same with every other way you cook tofu in this game. There's like five recipes just made with tofu that you don't do anything with. There's no point to it. It's such a waste of time. <laughs> Wouldn't leaving tofu out make it warm, though? I don't understand. Well, because you make tofu yourself, so it, it's cooked in some way. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just get so angry with the tofu. <laughs> <laughs> tofu makes me angry. That's weird, because there's recipes with tofu in real life. Why didn't they have some in here? They do. But it also includes those. So this is the first snowstorm, I want to say. It's basically like a typhoon, except it's snowing and your animals don't care. <laughs> Just gently push to the side. <laughs> what an inconvenience. Especially when I've got work to do. Oh, wait. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whatever game. Just, I'm just running with it. Level 8. One more request rank, and I can get level S requests. Which are the hardest in the game. And then after that, there's an additional thing I can get when I get to level 10. Which, I'm doing it for the sake of completion, not because it's a good reward. <laughs> that sounds like a disappointed man. <laughs> as much as I like this game, that tends to happen a lot. <laughs> Lots of disappointment. It said it was the Harmony Festival, right? Uh. If it is, I think it, it's a day where you give chocolate to your love interest. Uh. I don't have any, because thanks, old lady. <laughs> so basically Valentine's Day. Yeah, kind of. It's a specific type of Japanese Valentine's Day, though. Their thing is there are specific holidays where girls give gifts to guys, and then guys give gifts to girls on the other holiday. Oh, okay. I like when she shows up and congratulates you for cooking, and what she says is basically, Hey, you now know how to do the thing you've been doing. High five. I wasn't recording at the time. This is how you make egg soup. I made it and said, you got the recipe, and think, shit. <laughs> Is that yellow hearts? Flowers? God damn it, game. <laughs> so it's time for his final flower event. It involves a kitty. Uh, yay! A very dumb cat. 
Well, to be fair, most cats are pretty dumb. <laughs> it's trapped on an island. I'm guessing this is intended for a season where the water isn't frozen. Yeah. <laughs> but it's winter. The river is frozen. The cat could just walk across. But nope. He's trapped on an island when he's not trapped. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> You've seen my cats. My cats are pretty stupid, so <laughs> it's not an unfair assumption. And you just walk to the island. I bet it's not even an island, it's just like a little attachment of land. I don't even pick the cat up, I just go, hey, come on, stupid, and we both walk across anyway. Yep, there you go. <laughs> now it loves you. And it's still scared. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my cat, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, Cam. When you find a stray cat, that cat's now yours. Yeah. Sometimes you adopt a cat, sometimes the cat adopts you. 90% of the time, the cat adopts you. <laughs> See, look at Ash's sprite here. Something looks really off. Oh yeah, like there's chunks missing out on the side. They got matching hats! Ash is another character where you need up to two flowers for him in order for this event to happen, because he's a part of it. Eh. Same with Georgia. Even though they just say, eh, can't help you. Yeah. She looks almost corrupted. <laughs> Maybe this is my penance for using action replay. <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant corrupted as in, like, politically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are only two mayors out here. There's no higher-up government, as far as we know. She's gonna bring them both down. <laughs> <laughs> So the correct answer here is to be upbeat and supportive, as always. As opposed to being a terrible person and saying, eh, let's just put it back. Let's just put it back on the island where it was scared and too stupid to get off. <laughs> the cat's actually the Swabby from Wind Waker. Well, now the correct answer is to kill it. <laughs> What bug? It's winter. There's no bugs in winter. Yeah, this is probably meant for, like, summer. I'm a generic lady who doesn't live anywhere near this town. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Why are you visiting, though? There's nothing here. But Georgia said they were a regular, so how does that make sense? It's a conspiracy. I take this train every day just to have coffee at this one cafe. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> Don't know why she laughs like Papyrus, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've learned the secrets of old age! <laughs> Cats! Cats. <laughs> I've had adventures, Cam. That wasn't an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> We've adventured through the woods. Together. They're gonna say to a grandmother's house we go. <laughs> You be Hansel, I'll be Gretel. They were siblings. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hot and you'll be sexy. <laughs> that works. <laughs> or hot and gort, whatever. <laughs> we try to. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. 
so cows. So when you don't brush your cows, getting back on track. Oh my god. This is what happens. They actually visibly get dirty, which is a nice touch. They don't look dirty, they look gray. It looks like they're dying. Yeah, I was actually really worried until I realized that was what was happening. Since I started getting A-rank requests, I started getting a lot of ingredients that I normally couldn't get. I would have to make myself, like butter, which I'm glad for. Because that means a ton more recipes I can do. Like five-star pancakes. <laughs> now I want pancakes. Butter and an onion. <laughs> Whatever, game. That makes soup? With the conventions of a lot of the other recipes in this, you'd think it would just make butter soup. <laughs> butter soup. Ugh. Butter roll. Let's go roll in some butter. And of course you need butter for so many request recipes as well. Yeah. Thanks, game. <laughs> I've never heard of a yam dessert, but... Yeah, that makes sense. There's sweet potato pie. Oh, yeah! Which is basically pumpkin pie with a different vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> Pancakes are Ying's favorite. Aww. Which is perfect, because today is her birthday. Oh, she's so cute. Also, I, I had a fruit wine, and that was another thing I got from a request. Speaking of which, leveled up to level 9, which means I can take rank S requests. Those are hard. <laughs> you have to wrestle a bear. <laughs> Very specific request. Yeah. <laughs> Rutker is the bear. Hooray! Bok choy seeds! It's the last ten days of the season. These are not gonna grow in time. <laughs> but hey, at least that means I can buy bok choy seeds, which I can't grow until next year, at which point I would've been able to buy them anyway. <laughs> it's okay, honey, let me hold you. <laughs> <laughs> but on the plus side, the friendship meter between the two mayors is now complete. So next year, whenever Eileen decides to get up off her ass, <coughs> we can finally dig through the tunnel and the, the first major milestone of the game will be complete. But we still got another video for winter to go. Alright. It's like, it like Canada, except I've got like six more videos of winter. <laughs>